Madhma Priya from 3rd BCA. I like to share a book review about the Immortals of Meluha and it's written by Amish Tripathi. Now I'm sharing a few words about the author. Amish Tripathi, born on 18th October 1974, is the author of the Shiva Trilogy and the Ramachandra series. He studied at the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta, and after that worked for 14 years in a bank. His first book, The Immortals of Meluha, was published in 2010 and became the fastest selling book series in India. The success of the Immortals of Meluha encouraged him to quit his job and focus on writing. His books are mainly based on history, mythology and philosophy. The Immortals of Meluha is the first book of the Shiva trilogy. The other two books being The Secret of the Nagas and The Oath of the Vayaputras. The Immortals of Meluha is the story of Tibetan migrant named Shiva, whose deeds would later make him gods of gods, the Mahadev. In the story, Suryavanchis means the followers of the solar calendar face great danger as the Saraswati river is on the verge of extinction and face terrorist attack from the Chandravanchis means the followers of the lunar calendars the Nagas, murderers and deformed humans have allied with the situation worse. Shiva is supposed to lead the Suryavanchis in the battle against Chandravanchis and destroy the evil. The immortal of Meluha will take you back to 1900 BC and let you see the rise of Shiva through the eyes of the author. Shiva is one of the most worship deities of Hinduism and is considered the destroyer of evil. The, but Amish Tripathi has portrayed Shiva in his story as a skilled warrior, a passionate lover, a common man with a kind and humble soul, and no goldy powers. Shiva's character is very well designed with his compassion for a weak, excellent dancing skill and volcanic anger of the evil. If you are an Indian, you might have heard about the magical powers that God possesses like disappearing, flying, destroying anything with just a thought, releasing magical arrows etc. But Amish has abandoned all the supernatural aspects and described everything in the story as a science. To read the scientific replacements as the magic makes the story fantastic. The Immortals of Meluha is the brilliant combination of mythology, history and fiction. The story also covers social issues like discrimination against women and the caste system. Amish explained very minute detail of architecture, the appearance of character and the battle actions that would allow you to imagine live a whole different life in Meluha. All the characters are very well designed and you would able to empathize with them easily. In addition, the immortals of Meluha would entrap you the excellent dialogues and philosophies which would keep running in your mind and the days to come. The Immortals of Meluha is a thrilling and highly appealing story with fantastic narration. If anyone avoids this book, I would consider it a profound loss for him. I would recommend this book to anyone who wants to read a thrilling and captivating story. Thank you.